Yellow. To do kung fu. Wait, what? What is that? Boom! Was that kung fu? Or is he trying to kung fu us? Well, it appears that there are many types of kung fu. And in this case, one of the more practical ones is Sanda. Here we see Sanda fighters using a very practical martial art. Boom! I was too slow on that, so I'll say that. Well, one second. Boom! Perfect. Look at the way the guy's head rolls around. He just got rocked. Completely limp. Out. Beautiful punch. Even though it's not textbook, it's not a textbook punch. It was more of a haymaker. That was beautiful. And then we have here, boom. Boom. And that's just it. When it comes to martial arts, there's so many different forms, so many different varieties that must be functional in order to, you know, thrive for a real world combat situation. Everybody fought, you know. Fighting is ingrained into the human condition in and of itself. It's just part of our history. It's what we all had to do at some point based upon our ancestors etched within us fighting. And so even if a lot of it may look ornamental, there has to be something somewhere that's more functional than not. Because humanity is just filled with warriors. We all have answers throughout the fight. With that said, Sanda is a very practical form of Kung Fu. Despite what you know, people think about it, man, or whatever, Sanda in of itself is functional. And it's interesting too. It says Miyamoto Musashi had said, there is more than one way to the top of the mountain more than one way to the top of the mountain. The techniques start to look more and more similar to more practical styles as well, other functional styles as well. Because this is a practical style, Sanda. If you just keep looking for things that actually work, eventually the techniques start to look similar to other ones. Boom! And that's exactly what we see here. It's a lesson to all of us, really. Because it teaches us not to judge a book by its cover. Thank you for watching. Smash the button if you enjoyed. And until next time, peace.